I'm live, honeys. Okay, let me put on my. Oh, wow. Okay. Who is on right now? Good evening. Got my light on. Just gonna let me notify. This is my... Hi, so we're going to be talking about makeup, personal style today. As y'all can see, I'm dressed up. Usually I don't come on here dressed up, but I'm not really dressed up. Um, and I don't want anyone to think that they need like to spend a whole bunch of money to tap into their style and your style doesn't have to look like everyone else. You can literally be set apart as long as you're comfortable and you feel confident in what you have on. Um, as well as how you show up for yourself, basically, and makeup, skincare. Skincare is number one. Before you even get into makeup, you your skin has to look a certain way. Y'all probably think I have a beat face right now. Let me tell you, I don't. You know what I have on right now? Literally, I did not feel in my eyebrows. Literally, I... Let me show you guys what I... Y'all probably be like, what? I have on this concealer underneath my eyes. And I literally just put like two lines and I dab a look because this is the same color as my skin. So it blends in like perfectly. And I put a, a dot of this just to give it like a highlight. And I put blush. You're never going to catch me outside without blush. I must be sick if I don't have on blush. I don't care if I don't have no makeup on at all or no concealer. Usually I don't wear concealer on a daily to go out. I don't have on any lash. I just put on mascara. And the most important thing is my sunscreen, my moisturizer, my serums that I put on my face. Your skincare is what's going to make your makeup look perfect. How you take care of your skin. That's number one. And then we get in personal style, but let's talk about skincare. I, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't have to buy these expensive clinic cleansers, um, these expensive moisturizers. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you guys. These expensive moisturizers, no. Work according to your budget. You can definitely uh, practice self-care, having great skincare on a budget. You can use natural products, meaning like the fruit, which, you know, fruit is not that cheap, but compared to buying a $70 serum, and you could just buy the fruit for like $5 at most. Come on. Come on. Maybe the shelf life may not be great, but it's going to work. You can plant an aloe tree. Like you don't really need to have a garden to plant an aloe tree. And the aloe goes a long way to spread out on your face and your hair. Yes. Tanisha says she really invested in skincare products this year. Because when I tell you. I don't have anything on my face. I don't have no powders, nothing. Laura Mercier. Um, so I do have these things. I have all my stuff here. Well, most of my stuff. Where is it? Okay, so these little things that I got from Amazon, they're linked in my Amazon storefront. You're gonna need something like this. I don't use I don't use beauty beauty blenders anymore. This brush that I got from maybe Walmart or Ulta. But it's the brand Real Techniques. This is a concealer brush. This will change your life. Okay? Because that beauty blender, I don't know. My skin been doing something a little different lately. 
Meaning as I got older and you have to, you have to learn your skin. What may have worked last year or two years ago, it, it's not going to work today. And you have to just adjust. Don't be so hard on yourself. Like, oh my God, my skin is changing. Your skin is changing. Now it's time for you to change. Your skin is rejecting those products that you usually use. Now it's time to transition into something different. Your skin is asking for you for something different. So what I do now, what I've noticed that my skin, I'm, I have normal skin like but now it's like when I put on makeup, it became dry. Like you can literally see the texture. If you have a texture problem, let me show you. If you have any texture problem, you want to focus on adding a serum like glyconic acid. If you don't have glyconic acid money, that's okay, sis. Because this is Kills, and they actually sent this to me, right? I didn't go out in the store and buy this. So I know this ranges because it's 9.8% glyconic acid. But let me tell you, another brand that's glyconic acid, which is $13, is, is it Murad? I have to go get it. I have that product too. But this is probably 30 something dollars. You can literally use aloe. Just buy an aloe stick, put it all over your face. Go to sleep in the aloe. I know your pillow might be a little dirty depending on what side you sleep on. But when I tell you that will fix the texture on your skin. You want to even out your skin tone? Papaya and carrots, blend it, wear it as a mask for like 10, 20, 10 minutes, leave it on your face, 10, 15 minutes, leave it on your face. Do it two, three times a day. Yes, it may get a little messy, but we're working on a budget. We're working on a budget. That This is not retinol. I use retinol too. Um, this is glyconic acid. So I do have retinol. I use that from time to time. Retinol is wonderful. But one thing I've noticed about retinol is that I can't use the oil-based retinol because it breaks out my face. So for so long, I have been afraid of going towards retinol because I have seen, I have saw what it done to my face. But then um, I believe Kiehl's and La, La Roche-Posay. No, I think I use La Roche-Posay. This is a great brand. It's affordable. You can find it at Target. Their vitamin C serum is what I have on right now. And I have on my moisturizer. And I think I have a sale going on. And if I don't, if the sale is expired, I will extend it for all of you ladies that's in the P3 Girls chat. Um, this moisturizer, I use it on a daily. Whether I'm going out in the sun or not, you need SPF. You need SPF moisturizer. Not only do I add SPF, you can add a regular moisturizer. Like if you have dry skin, you can add a hydrating moisturizer. But you need to follow up with an actual SPF. I don't even care if you're sitting around your house. Wear the SPF. Make it a routine. This is your daily moisturizer. This is a part of your daily routine, SPF. And I like this. I'm not just um, bragging about it because it's my product or I'm not just trying to sell y'all something because I'm not going to sell something that I don't like or that I don't use or that I don't believe in. I use this on a daily. And I'm not going to put nothing on my skin just because. Because it's, it actually works. I don't have the white cast. Um, and I used to use, and if it's not broken, I, don't fix it. I'm not, if it works for me, I'm just going to keep it. I don't care. I don't care what new product comes out. If it works for me, I'm going to use it. So I used to use a while back, like in my early twenties, before I started my own brand, I used to use, um, Neutrogena sunscreen. And of course it did leave a white cast, but then I knew how to maneuver around it. Right. I'll put my moisturizer first, then I'll put dots of it. And I just knew I had to blend it in. And then wait for it to kind of settle. I can't put too much because then it's just going to be too much. I'm going to look like somebody else and not myself. So, but this, I'm going to, okay, so let me try some on my hand. This goes on. Y'all see how all my hand looks, right? This is my hand. Um, do you see that glow? That's what it does to my face. That This glow that you see, that's because of my moisturizer, my SPF moisturizer. Do, do, do y'all see that? This is no cap. I'm not, I'm not just capping. Okay? I'm not just capping. And mind you, right now it is 6.45 p.m. I left my house. I have the, I have this whole thing on my face since, when did I, like 10 a.m. And my face still looks like this. Since 10 a.m. 10 a.m. And no, I do not wear foundation. I don't have on any foundation. Just a little concealer, the blush, 
the bronzer to give my face. You know, you got to work with the definition. You got to fake it. You got to fake it. I, I don't like getting a whole beat face. That That's just, it's just too much work. I don't like taking off makeup. Okay. And the lashes, I don't know how to put on lashes. But lashes bring out your face. If you can afford the minx, do the minx. Because the minx does bring out a real girl face. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Hey. I have this blue strip. Well, hold on. Wait. Let me catch up on the comments. Yes, it's important to have a day and night routine. Your day and night routine cannot be mixed in. What I use in the day, I do not use at night. So during the day, I do use my vitamin C cleanser, right? The reason I like exfoliating because, let's get real. So I used to, um, at one point in my life, I'm going to just blame it on this. Y'all might think I'm crazy. Y'all might think I'm crazy. So when I was younger, I used to always make fun of my friends. See, that's why you don't make fun of people. She had like this, like two hairs on her chin. I thought, my God, you got hair on your chin. Why did I start growing hair on my chin? What? So then when I, when I went to go get my eyebrows um, waxed, the Chinese lady was like, oh, mustache, mustache, chin, chin, chin. And I was like, what? What you mean? She was like, wax, wax, wax. And I was like, okay, we could wax it. Why did I do that? Why did I agree to do that? You know what happened? It looked it so good. My face looked it so smooth. But when my hair started growing in, it grew in with force. I don't know if that's all in my head because I didn't change anything about my diet. Literally, after that day, my skin has never been the same when it came to the regrowth of the hair on my face. It came back full force. So then I had to get laser. But the laser wasn't really helping. I was like, oh, my gosh. But what I've learned is that exfoliating does help with the, like, taking off the dead skin cells and also helping me during my, um, late between laser treatments. But I used to use the apricot scrub from Walmart. And then I noticed that it was too, like, uh, abrasive for my skin. Like, it was too harsh. I used to get cuts in my skin. My, skin's, my skin is very sensitive. So when I came out with this, what I loved about it is it's light. Like it's 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 a soft exfoliator. It's not too rough on your skin and it smells amazing. So this vitamin C cleanser I use on a daily that um so I always wash my face with that in the morning and if you want to brighten up your skin, definitely leave it on your skin for at least 10 minutes after lathering it on so it can really soak up that vitamin C so you know it does help with hyperpigmentation. Okay, let me see. Does it burn your face? Um, what uh, what burns your face? No, that does not burn your face. I don't use anything that burns my face. Uh, the what did burn my face though? Sometimes I'm not gonna lie. After one thing that does burn my face that I keep using, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The Neutrogena makeup wipes. Sometimes it does burn my face. I, I, I'm not gonna say it burns my face, but I feel a hot sensation sometimes. But I keep using it because I like it. I really do. I love, okay, Glamcore says she started using Kills. Kills is a magnificent brand. I really stand by them um, and free the people. Kills is, I love their, um, their ingredients. <clears throat> That's why I like them. They're, and their products are, they just work. Um, if you are into a more, for affordable skincare, Cetaphil. Cetaphil, I use their under eye cream. Their moisturizer is good, um, as well as their, uh, I don't really like their cleansers no more. I think when I first started out in my early 20s, I used to use their cleanser, but um, I don't know. I, I can't really say I haven't used their cleanser in so long, but Survey, their cleanser is good, especially to take off makeup. Because with makeup, it don't think because you, you use the makeup wipe, it's off. Even if you wash your face after that, you need to wash your face again or Use a toner. If you don't have a toner, because I know if, if you're on a budget, get some witch hazel. This is a great brand for witch hazel to like put on a cotton, um, a little cotton pad after cleansing your face and going in with this. You'll see, you'll be surprised what, what is left after that. You don't have to use that much because literally I use this sometime. Um, I'm not really a big, let me not say I'm not a big toner person, but... 
I'm not, I don't use it every day. I struggle with hyperpigmentation. I've been using turmeric scrub. And how's Chelsea? How is the turmeric scrub working out for you? And one thing about it, when is because it's a scrub, you do not want to use it every day because that you have that like okay, a scrub is in, invasive on your skin, so it's being rough, it's taking off dead skin cells. So I would use well, you can. It depends on how. If it's a gentle scrub, you can use it on a daily. But if it's not, I would skip like days, like maybe every other day. Give your skin some rest. And when you're treating hyperpigmentation, you have to remember to follow up with like the aftercare. Yeah, you're using like brightening things. But when you go out in the sun, if you don't protect your skin, then it just defeats the purpose. So that's why it's so important for you to wear SPF, any moisturizer with SPF. So when you go out, so that sun, that's what kind of causes, well, part of it that causes hyperpigmentation or when you're trying to treat it when the sun, when you go out in the sun or when you go out throughout the day. And there's no, your skin barrier is like out and open. <clears throat> skin, I can see that. Neutrogena dry, um, products dried up your skin. I can see that. I can 100% see that. They do not focus on hydrating. I can 100% see that. When I think about Neutrogena, I just think about they're great for removing my makeup. Like I used to, and those bars, I don't even know how old y'all are, but those Neutrogena bars, those gold bars, I don't know where my mom found them from, but she had some at her house. When I tell you, they get you squeaky clean. They take off all the makeup, but to say that I use Neutrogena like on my in my daily routine or in my night routine where I don't wear makeup, no, because I know it does have that drying effect. I don't think of hydrating. I don't think of any of that when I think of their products. That's 100%. Um, yeah. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to see how much, well, let me check how much the sunscreen is. I think I have a sale going on. I, it should be there still. If not, I will send a, um, discount code for all of my P3 girls in the chat after this live. Let me make sure that, cause it should be 12. Okay, so no, the sale is still going on. So everything is $12, even the clothes. Well, clothes are really discounted, like 70% off. So yeah, everything is still on, on sale on my website and it's primprimproper.com. It's in my bio on my YouTube. Well, not on my YouTube, but on my Instagram and TikTok. And usually in my description box on YouTube, but it's primp and the letter N, proper.com. I use Cetaphil on my son and daughter helps with eczema. Yes, because it's gentle. So for dark spots. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be real y'all. So for dark spots, if you suffer from dark spots, so for me, um, I'm gonna come out with something. I have an oil, right? The oil works, but it takes so much money to make the oil. But the oil works, but I really want a product. I know they've advertised these soaps for dark areas, like my, my elbows are dark, in between my thighs are dark. Because anytime, as a woman, if you notice you have that type of skin, um, it, you have to be very careful with how you lean on things. Like if your thighs rub, my thighs used to rub, I used to be a lot bigger. Um, and I think naturally my thighs stick together because that's how my bone structure is. So growing up, my thighs used to rub. That made the in between my thighs darker. I've used everything, y'all. Only certain things work. And the things that did work, they only come in a certain amount. So it didn't really last. Uh, for dark spots, you can do, I'm just going to give out all the options. You can use anything with like kind of like bleaching properties only on that area. And it'll work a lot faster. Anything you work with that has chemicals is going to work a lot faster. Is it healthier? No. But is it, does it work? Yes. Does it work faster? Yes, because it's chemicals. Anything that you work, you use that is natural, like a natural product, is it going to work? Yes. Is it going to take longer? Yes, because it's a natural property. Unless it's like maybe a fresh um, cut or like a fresh scar, maybe it'll take, it, it will fade a lot faster because it's fresh, but 
the fact that you're using natural products is going to take a lot longer, but be consistent is going to work. Anything though, you have to look at the ingredients. If you want to brighten up any dark areas in your, on your, on your body or on your face, you have to look at properties that have carrots. Carrots have brightening properties. Papaya has brightening properties. Pineapple has brightening properties. Lemon has brightening properties. Those, am I missing anything? Papaya, carrot, papaya, carrot, uh, lemon. But people don't use pineapple on, they don't. So that pineapple won't even be an option. But papaya, carrots, and lemon. Those are the three um, fruits. I don't know if lemon is fruit, whatever. That has brightening, lightening properties naturally. So it, even if you're looking at a product, whether it be natural or chemical based, chemical based is going to have some other stuff in there because, of course, it's chemical. Um, but those things that you see in the natural product, that means it's going to brighten up whatever area that you're focusing on. <clears throat> Probably twice a week. Okay, that's good, Chelsea. You use it twice a week. Yes, the mark um my detox mask does help with marks and it also helps me with acne. And it also helps me when I wear makeup too much. I don't really like wearing makeup every single day. Like that's a once in a blue thing. Because you gotta give your skin some rest. Let me get into this. I want to get I know I have like stuff on my face, but I really want to show y'all placement because that is important. Because there's no reason why we shouldn't all be able to beat our face. And do y'all see how makeup has transitioned? While we used to be the girls with the cut creases, all the stuff that's going on now, everybody's fading into the whole natural look, right? And natural, that's better for us, y'all. It's a lot easier. And it's, it's, an, it's embracing you. Like, you don't have to look like somebody else, like, Y'all remember when those makeup transitions were crazy where you would see those before and after and that after picture looked completely different? Completely. That was crazy. So I'm going to show you. I don't wear foundation, although I have foundation, right? The reason why I don't wear foundation, I'm just going to, is because my skin be acting funny. And I honestly feel like I can just get that look without wearing foundation. So you never really hear, see me wear foundation. <clears throat> Every time I wear makeup, I don't have a foundation. And whether you see me with a beat face on social media, I don't have a foundation. So I'm going to show y'all what I actually do. Yes, less is better. Less is better. And it makes you look way better. Okay, so for contour, you know how to use concealer? I don't use concealer. I use foundation. I use this Bobbi Brown um, stick. You don't have to buy Bobbi Brown, sis. What you can use, which is equivalent to Bobbi Brown, is why are they trying to do an ad? No. Um, is a, what is it called? Is a Black Radiance? I think it's sold at Walmart. They have. It was a brand that was really popular, and they had foundation sticks. I th I don't think it's Black Radiance. It's called some. Maybe it is Black Radiance. I'm not sure. Let me know if y'all know what I'm talking about. But a lot of makeup artists was using that brand. But they have foundation sticks. You can use that for contour. Same thing. Because this one really has... Oh, this is not the right one. <clears throat> Obviously, this is hitting pan. Oh, no. So, this is what I use. I'm almost out of... Well, not really. So I like to use a foundation stick for contouring because it goes on a lot smoother. When it comes to blending it out, it just seeps into your skin because it's foundation. Unlike concealer, that it's a lot thicker. And we don't want that. We want a whole natural. We want you to think this is our skin. You know, we want everything to blend, blend seamlessly. That's the goal. Y'all, my hair look a mess, so I'm not even going to take, take off this hat. The lippies, yeah. So um, I have a lot of lip glosses. I don't know why. And a lot of lipsticks. I don't switch it up. My go-to is Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy and a trendsetter lip liner from Morphe. Velvet Teddy is from MAC. 
<clears throat> I use that and trendsetter, but you can also use chestnut. Chestnut is a brown liner from MAC and is an OD Goldie. But the reason why I like um the reason why I like trendsetter is because it's right here. It's a lot darker. Let me show y'all. You probably can't see. I have them. I have on lip gloss, and this lip gloss is kind of thick. And you always want to go underneath your lip because that's what makes it look defined. And when it comes to makeup, you could look at someone else as a guide, but learn your face. You have to learn your face. Where they put their makeup, where they put their placement, is not going to be the same as yours. So I'm going to show you our placement. Yes, yes. And it was in blue. Like the bottle, like the container was black, but the lettering was in blue. So... For contour, no, let's start with highlight. Highlight, I want y'all to go here. Because remember, if you're gonna, if you're the type to contour your nose, we're gonna have to start right here. So you're gonna put the highlight. I don't want to put this on. Could I put something else on though? I wish I had on my powder. Let me use this. So you're gonna put, I'll just put some. What I have. Let me put my phone right here real quick. Okay. So, we're going to, I already have powder on, but whatever. Put it right here. Obviously, you're going to put a lot more and put some right here. Um, when I want a more beat look, like today I just added it right here. Didn't do too much. But if you want a more beat look, you're gonna drag it up to here, the concealer. Like you're gonna put something like right there and then you're gonna, this will be like probably right up to here. And then you wanna pat, don't drag. Pat. So you're moving the brush, but you're not dragging it. You're picking it up. Let me show y'all. You see how I'm just dabbing? I'm not dragging. I'm dabbing and moving my brush. And you want... Oh, this even look better. So the thing is, when you bring the concealer up, it brings your cheekbones up. You literally can change the whole look of your face, and it's in a natural way. So you're not looking out here looking so crazy, but you're just enhancing what you already have. So I like to bring it up. And you want to bring it, bend it on the side of your nose, because if you, especially if you're contouring the nose, that dark, um, the what you use to contour is going to go right here. So it's like highlight on the sides, contour, and then highlight down the middle. You see, my the down here looks so, so shiny. But always drag it. Do y'all see the difference? Am I tripping? Or do y'all see? So this is the concealer that's the same shade as me. And this is um, Kosis. They're not, they're pretty affordable. You can find them at Sephora. I think this is, don't quote me, $13. But they're, they have a lot of more. Let me not hate. They have a lot of ranges. But I only use this in a color that's my skin. So say, for instance, I have like these marks. If I really want to beat face, I'll just dab little specks of this, blend it in. So I don't have to work on um, foundation, blend it in, and then do whatever I have to do. This, this right here, this right here. This is my concealer that I use. Wait, um, I use it so much that the branding came off. This is Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. 
And this is my highlight. I can't put this on y'all. But I just probably dulled down my face. So I have to go to um, Bible study, well, discipleship class in a little bit. But yeah, I can't put this on because I know it's going to make me look crazy. But what I do is, for today, since we're not doing like a whole beat look, I just added it right here, blend it out. And when you blend this out, you don't want to bring it this way. You don't want to bring the highlight. Let me just do it for fun. Ooh, oh, my God. It fell on my carpet. Hold on. Not my carpet. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Let's show. Um, let me show you. So, that's how much I'll put. And I always like wipe off the excess. So, right? You see how that brightens? And under my eyes started to crease really bad, especially after I turned like 31. Um, so what I had to do is incorporate eye cream. So I don't know why I just dragged it over there after I told y'all not to. That's a bad habit of mine. But don't drag it too far. You want to drag it down kind of. So this brush can be found at Ulta and Walmart, anywhere they sell real techniques. I don't have a number on it because I had it for so long, but this is how it looks. Any brush that looks like this, that's kind of like not too soft, but it's firm, it's gonna, it can um, blend out your concealer because it can't be too like squishy. It got to be like firm, you see? Because it got to be able to man, like hold. Because if it moves, that means it's not a concealer brush. It's actually a... Um, eyeshadow brush if it moves because eyeshadow you have to be able to blend we're not really blending in that way where we want the bristles to move we want it to stand firm and we do the moving we have control I do not use sponges I like because the sponge <coughs> don't get me wrong before I did I just feel like my skin has changed so I can't use sponge so what I would then go, what I've noticed, when I use a sponge, it just takes it off. Like, I, I have blotches on my skin. And I don't know why, because I used to always use sponges before. But I use this, right, with no product on there, just like whatever was on there before. And I kind of, like, blend it in that way, too. Just a pat in it. And then I go in, I have to go get my, I thought I brought it. Don't be afraid to blend. I'm going to go get, uh, so I have, I want to tell you, show y'all the difference between a setting spray and a, um, the MAC mist thing. They're two different things. So the setting spray is to set your makeup. This Fix Plus is to make sure everything is smooth. So I'm going to spray some of this. And then I still go on with my powder. Like I spray this while I'm doing my makeup. Before I add powder, before I add anything, I'm not adding any Laura Mercier because remember this is a setting spray. It can set my concealer as well. It's a finisher. And then once that dries down, I'm going to add the Fix Plus to add that top layer. But I want to continue on with skincare. So by the, during the day, oops, during the day, 
I like to wear a vitamin C cleanser. I mean, vitamin C um, serum, and this is from La Roche Posay. Or you can use any vitamin C serum. The oil, I really, uh, the serum just soaks into your face better. Let it sit for a little bit before you move on to any moisturizers or SPF. Okay, for blush. Okay, so it's different ones. So for blush, I use different. Um, I don't have this on today. Today I have on Fenty. I like that blush. It's in a compact. It's it's not powder. It is. Oh, what is, what does she call? What does she call it? Let me look it up. It's not liquid either. Let me double check. Oh my god! Thank you for whoever's ordering right now. Thank you. I'll send it out tomorrow. Um. Fenty. I don't, I use powder, but not in the beginning. I go in with it. I hope she doesn't not sell it anymore because it is old. But I still use it. Oh. oh, Fenty Beauty Blush. Okay, so I have to go. Okay, so it's this. So this is it's $24 at Ulta. So this is the one I have on right now. Let's see what color it is. Uh, not probably this one. Hold on. Strawberry drip. Twenty four dollars. No, it's a name. You never try blush, girl. I love blush. It brings out your cheese. It, it it adds color to your face. After you add concealer, all of that stuff, you need some color to your face. And these are the two brushes that I actually use. Um, I had used this one today because let me just add whatever's on here. And you really once you have, get the skincare down pat, you really don't need much makeup. Like you gonna see like how easier it gets. Once you start taking care of your skin, like this lip mask, wearing a lip mask at night will change everything for you. Like, I don't know about y'all, but my lips always end up chapped. Like I'm really kind of, I don't want to say addicted, but I cannot go a day without wearing chapstick or something on my lips. I don't care for gloss that much. I like gloss, but as long as I have something on my lips, like chapstick, and it's moist, I'm good. At night, I have to add this lip mask. And this has been one of my favorites. I used to use Laneige, Laneige, but they don't even sell the one I like anymore. It's discontinued. But what I noticed about that one, that it would stick to everything. This one kind of absorbs into my lip. And I do notice after using this that my lips look a lot pinker and plumper. I didn't get that from the other one. So Mind you, I only tried like maybe three lip masks in my life because I'm a type of person. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like if I like something, I'm gonna stick with it. And this is from Kills as well. So this is the lip mask I wear at night. This I I got it when I worked at Sephora. Yes, your girl used to work at Sephora. That was my last job before I got cha. Anyways, um, this is Glam Glow. This is I don't have this on today though. I have work concealer. Okay. I don't have this on today. Oh, yes, I did put this on. That's surprising. I put this on today. Usually when I wear, oh, because I didn't think I was going to wear a concealer today because I thought I was going to go plain. But um, this brightens up my under eye after I put on my other Cetaphil under eye cream. So I add this Glam Glow. They don't sell this at Sephora no more. I don't know where they sell this anymore. So once I run out, then I'll figure out where they sell it. Matter of fact, let's look it up. <clears throat> okay, so I have to go because I'm late to my discipleship class, but I want to leave with something. Hold on. Glam Glow. Let me answer a few questions before we get off. Vanessa, your skin is... 
Okay, so let me tell y'all. Y'all say I have flawless skin, but honestly, you know how God is funny because you know how you look at your parents and you like you want the bet their best attributes. I got my dad worse. Like my mom has great skin. My mom doesn't have hair under her arms. My mom doesn't grow hair on her legs, and I wasn't blessed in that way. I have my dad side of the family skin. So I do have like that keloid skin. I do scar up very easily. I do um, suffer from a lot of things when it comes to my skin. So that's why I'm so adamant about not switching up because I do have sensitive skin. So once something works for me, it works for me. But like, look, you see these two marks on my, my hand? Literally, those were like, say, for instance, you made a mistake and kind of like rub, rub yourself against like a table and it, you got a little cut. These little cuts turn into scars. So that's the kind of skin I have. I scar very easily and it's very hard to get out. So the same thing that happens with my face. That's why I'm very careful. When I tell you I have broke out and it took, this has been the longest. Um, when I went to Florida under a lot of stress because I was dealing with a lot, um, going to a funeral, planning a funeral, doing all of that. So um, I kind of like was stressed. All of that showed up in my face. I have, I don't get breakouts, literally broke out and it left scarring and literally you still can see it. So my face is not completely flawless and I don't wear foundation, but it's clearing up. And how it's been clearing up is because I am consistent with my night and um, daily routine. It's not perfect yet. I'm, I can't wait to get back. Cause I just posted a video up on my Instagram story and that's when my skin was, you seen that natural glow. I ain't have nothing on, but like I had probably just got done doing my night routine and went on TikTok and uploaded that video. That right there was skin. Let me show y'all that video. I was like, oh, my skin looks so good. I can't wait for my skin to look like that again. I really can't. No filter. Oh, it's like this. Do not chase. Do not Do you see that natural glow? Do not chase not a man, not a bag, not a job, not even skin good. That's why I'm going to be vitamin C and up. Because I had ran out of my vitamin C cleanser for myself, my own stash. And I had to go in y'all's stash. So I have to stash some because once it's gone, it's gone. I'm not going to be selling skincare anymore. And it's not just, it's not because it's not good, but it's because I'm transitioning out. I need to have more time for the girlies. So I cannot be trying to push product. So once it's done, it's done. But I got to put my stuff to the side because I don't try everybody else's products. I don't go into the store and buy cleanser. What works for me works for me. So this is the best SPF I have. This is the best cleanser that I have. So what works? So I'm going to stash some. So if y'all don't get it, and if once it's sold out, I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you because I'm going to get. I have to. I have to stock up. And my mama be, my family back home, but I'll send me something. Listen, I have to save some for the people. What are y'all talking about? But once it's gone, it's gone. I'm going to come back though, because I just love skincare. I love makeup. I love all that. But skincare, most importantly. What did I miss? Did I miss anything? Mascara, y'all already know. Pick whatever mascara works for you. <clears throat> Thank you. I have a testimony. One day I'll share it about like what I was going through too. My skin is very sensitive. Um, at one point, it was like I had, they're trying to give me a cancer scare. That's why I say um, prayer is so important because I remember one, I, I hate to get there. Like God always, were, <clears throat> I just remember one time in my life where, um, you know how you do your annual checkup and I went to the doctor and um, they were like, oh, I want you to follow up with another doctor. Once they say that, you already know what, what time it is. Something is irregular. And they're like, okay, you don't have nothing to worry about. They're keeping me calm. I was like, okay. But the doctor they refer me to, everybody in the office, like all his patients have cancer. It was a cancer center. They focus on people who have cancer. And you going into there like, hold on, why I'm here? What? And that was just a few years ago. So, And it was just so crazy that they just couldn't figure out what it was. Or like, it just disappeared. Like, Because I went on a fast. Because I felt like nobody wasn't telling me really what was going on. 
So I was like, I, let me go on this fast real quick. Let me go pray to God because whatever they think they see. But it did have something to do with like my skin, not just not my skin, but what was going on was affecting my skin. And it made sense why I don't heal like normal people do. Like it was um, like, say, for instance, um, you get a cut like you accidentally cut yourself with a knife. You know how you'll get that top scab. My body would not develop that top scab like it would it would come slowly. So I would heal very slowly and which is. It, and normally your blood can clot because the blood has to clot in order for that to form, but not clot so much, right? Over like a main artery or anything like that. So basically that's what my skin wasn't doing. So they thought it was like kind of cancerous or whatnot. But what the doctor said, when Jesus says, yes, nobody can say no. Yes. I'm happy. I wish I knew a lot of things in my 20s. I think I would be, I would have bought a house instead of buying a car. Because when I was in, a senior in high school, um, the recession hit. And I was saving money up for a car. And I could have spent that money on a house, a duplex or something. And that would have been a lot further. But, you know, in its timing. In its timing. Um, when it comes to personal style, okay, I... Let me just, anybody have questions? Let me just say that. I'm going to do a separate video dedicated and I'm going to send a link to you all about like personal styling, finding your personal style, like showing up. And that, I hope in the memoir you wrote how you wanted to show up, like how you dress now. Like, yeah, because that, that was the whole, I want you to see your future self. I want you to become her. So how does her look like? You know, how does she dress? If you had, don't even worry about, oh, if you can afford certain things. Literally, you don't have to spend a lot of money to look good. Wearing a lot of basic things, like buying little tees like this, or even a short sleeve, you can mix and match with your bottoms. You can make uh, probably five outfits with one top, you know? Yes, modest and classy. Well, me, I'm not gonna lie. When I was like, it was like mm, certain body types. I'm just gonna be real. It's hard to be modest. I'm just gonna be real. So I don't. I'm not. I'm gonna just be 100 with you all. I'm not the modesty queen because my body type it can look modest on somebody else. And when I put it on, it's just like dang. And I'm not trying. It's just that's my body type. So I'm not the modesty queen. But I try to be very covered up. I don't really like exposing myself like that. But. Because I remember a lot of people came at me with certain things I wear, and I just don't pay them no mind because, child, if you would have worn it, probably would have looked different. But if the Holy Spirit convicts me about something, I'm definitely going to take it off. And plus size, yeah. But the plus size girlies be killing it. Girl, there's so, I don't want to say, let me not say there's so much, but when I see them on my page, they be really dressed to the T. They just inserted something. <coughs> you just got to find out what works for you. <clears throat> I stay away from stripes. When it go a certain way, not on that. I stay away from certain color. Well, uh, I don't really have anything red in my closet. It's really neutral and things like that. I really don't. I like a lot of white. <laughs> Somebody said, you always wearing white. I was like, I do. No, maybe every time you see me, I wear white. Okay, I had to put that on. Yeah, see, let me show y'all what it does. I will invest in those products. So definitely investing in a cleanser, a morning and night cleanser. My night cleanser is from La Roche Posay is in my shower. Is there a hydrating cleanser? Um, I use that. And it's a lot for your money. You get it from Target. Um, that's what I would use at night. I use my vitamin C cleanser in the morning. Uh, vitamins um, and my vitamin C serum. Sometimes if I'm not going anywhere and I'm sitting in the house, I don't put on a vitamin C serum. I probably put on the B5 serum or any hyaluronic acid serum that I have, which I'm probably out of it. That's why I haven't worn it. Um, hyaluronic acid is really good, especially for hyperpigmentation as well. And you're just our overall skincare. And then I always put on my sunscreen when I'm laying around the house, always. Um, to add that moisture to my face. Night, I 
I'm also testing out these products. Um, I uploaded, I'm going to upload a video about it soon, but I'm still testing it out and see how, what the results are because it's supposed to help in between my legs and my underarms and my elbows and it's not bleaching. So I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to see what that can do. Chill. But if anyone has any more questions about um, makeup, skincare, before I go. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. I don't know why that song is in my head. I don't know if I should upload this because it kind of looks like you know where my house is. You got to add eye cream. Girl. Especially, I wish I would have been at eye cream. Because then, I, the reason why I added, like, I was more, yeah, consistent with eye cream is because when I wore makeup, my eyes started to crease. And I started to get really bad, like, wrinkles underneath my eye. And now I'm, like, consistent, like, oh, my God, trying to fix it. And I should have been, been been wearing it. So don't wait for you to have these problems for you to add that into your skincare. Use preventative care, meaning wear the eye cream now, even if you don't see that it's dragging or that, yeah, just wear some kind of eye cream, like hydration. Since you don't have any wrinkle, you don't have to go in depth with like the wrinkle because you don't have it yet. But use anything that's hydrating underneath your eye. Hydrating that has vitamin C or anything that has coffee beans because Anything that has coffee beans will uh, awaken, like kind of um, that caffeine from the coffee beans will uh, kind of like liven up your under eye. Those are important ingredients. Anything with vitamin C, anything with, I don't have my eye cream here. And I use a primer, uh, a primer that's supposed to be all over your face, but I only use it underneath my eyes, is a hydrating primer. But that concludes our session for today. I look forward to spending the next week with you ladies. The, the year is almost over. Can you believe it? The year is almost over. It's scary as it may seem. Okay, let me show you. How, you see what it did? It like kind of evens out everything. Get these two. And, it's, and I know if you're scared of Dewey, they have a matte one, but these two, everything. Set your face and add it after. You're welcome, love. I'm, I wanted to do a more detailed the style one, but I think I need more clothing. Like, I'm going to probably put, I have a video coming up soon. Just know. I'm going to set up something really nice and I'm going to show you how to actually mix and match so you don't have to be spending money all the time. Because, listen, we're going to be on a budget. We're getting out of debt. We're investing. We are building wealth. We're not trying to uh, look any way to anybody else. We're trying to please ourselves and God. That's it. It's, it's enough of us playing around. It's, a, it's all about us building in this next season. Saying a lot of no's. And a lot of nose to ourselves. But good night. Love y'all.